A navigational table of contents can be helpful in an EPUB file as it provides a logical navigational aid when reading an EPUB document. Let's take a look at how this feature can be implemented. Now I'm beginning this video with the navigational toc.indd file already open on my computer. And you can see that I've navigated to page 4 and 5 in my document where I have a table of contents. Now, this is different from a navigational table of contents that's going to appear in the EPUB because this is going to be a physical table of contents that will appear in the EPUB and it will be functional. However, a navigational table of contents is even more helpful when reading an EPUB. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the table of contents feature in InDesign to do this. And we're going to create both the physical table of contents and the navigational table of contents by using that feature. So I'm going to start by deleting all of the text in this frame. And I'm going to go to the layout menu and I'm going to choose table of contents. Now in the table of contents dialog box, we should see that all of our configurations for creating this table of contents has already been created. So the name of the table of contents is right up here. It's using the subhead A everywhere in the document that it appears. And what I'm also going to do is down here in the style options, you'll notice that there's no page number being added. Because page numbers in an EPUB are pretty much irrelevant because the document is going to change based on the device in which you're reading it on. Now in addition, down here at the bottom is a new feature in the latest version of InDesign, which will make a text anchor in the source paragraph where the TOC entry is linked to. So this is a powerful new tool that we're going to utilize to make our physical table of contents more functional. So what I'm going to do here, we have everything configured but we have not saved a style. So we need to save a style or what I like to call a preset to save all of these settings. So we're going to make sure that no page number is chosen and then I'm going to come over here and choose save style. And I'm going to call this style the travel TOC. I'm going to click OK and you'll see that that is now saving this configuration as travel TOC. And we want to remember that because we're going to use it later on. Now, when I click OK, I'm going to get a loaded cursor. And when I click inside of this frame, it's going to place my table of contents. So that's perfect. That's one thing that we do want to include in our layout, but it really is optional because we're also going to be generating our navigational TOC. So let's take a look at how that works. So I'm going to go to File and I'm going to choose Export. And I'm going to keep the name at Navigational TOC. That way I know what this is for and I'm going to save it to my chapter 16 folder. I'm going to go ahead and click the save button. Now what I'm going to do right now I'm just going to export this as is. So let's go ahead and click OK. And when the EPUB is created we can see that if we scroll down to the table of contents we can see that our table of contents appears and these are active links. So if I click on these it's going to jump to that location. Now that is helpful. But what I'm looking for is my navigational TOC that should appear over here. So let's close this EPUB and we're going to go back to InDesign and we're going to export this again. But this time, let's give it another name. We'll call it Navigational TOC Nav. And I'll go ahead and click the Save button. But this time, where it says Navigation, I'm going to click on the drop down and choose TOC Style. You see why we created that in our table of contents feature? And now over here, we can pick the TOC style that we save. So this is a huge help for creating our navigational table of contents. I'm going to go ahead and click OK to generate my new EPUB file. And when this opens, you'll notice that now over here on the left, we have a navigational TOC that allows me to jump to all of these different sections without having to jump back to the actual table of contents every time. So as long as you know how to create a table of contents in InDesign, you can use that skill to also generate a navigational TOC in the resulting EPUB file.